All right, in this episode, we're going to be calibrating our E-steps and adjusting our flow rate. And in order to do that, we are going to be needing a, another tool. So uh, there's a website here. I put a link in the description down below. It is pronterface.com. Uh, go ahead and click on that. You're going to want to go to the Downloads tab, and you're going to want to download this program. Whether you want to get the Git repository, uh, check out the latest release, or if you want to just go with the Windows or uh, Mac OS X binary. So um, once you have that installed... and you get it up and running, you should see a scene like this. Uh, now, it's important to make sure you don't have Kira open or anything else that might be trying to communicate with your printer. Um, and you need to have your printer plugged into the PC for this to work because we're going to be sending commands through Pronterface. It's going to interface with the board, and it's going to execute those commands on your printer. So what you need to do is yours will probably be on COM1. If there is any other option up here, go ahead and click on it. Mine's COM4. I know that's my Ender 3 because uh, I had it hooked up earlier, and just hit connect. If it doesn't connect, try the other port, but odds are it's whatever other port shows up that isn't COM1. All right, so now you can see we're connected to our printer. Um, before we can extrude anything, which is what we're going to be doing, we need to turn our heat on, so go ahead and click here where it says set, and we will go ahead and measure our filament for the first step of calibrating our E-steps. Alright, and for the next step here, I'm going to make sure I set my calipers to 100 millimeters. And that is right there. Tighten it up. I'm going to make sure it's still on. Yep, we're good. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is get a Sharpie, bring your calipers over here and you're going to want to find a nice flat spot place the depth the depth measuring part of your calipers up against pull the filament tight um, remember the location you're placing here because you're going to measure back to that later uh, and then mark your filament at 100 millimeters Now uh, you can clearly see my mark there. So now we're going to go back over to Pronterface. All right, we're back in Pronterface. You can see we're all heated up to 220 here. Uh, and we are set to extrude 100 millimeters at 100 millimeters per minute, which means it'll take 60 seconds to extrude all this. It's going to seem like it's going really slow, um, but that's what we want. We're going to see how close that mark gets to the point we measured from and then we'll do a little bit of math and figure out what we need to do to adjust the e-steps. So go ahead and click extrude there. Okay, we're about halfway through extruding here. I need to clean my nozzle there, it's binding up a little bit. There's our mark there, about 10 seconds left of extruding to go. And there it stops. And again with our calipers here, we're going to measure exactly how far away that mark is all right as you can see here we got about a 4.9 millimeter reading so we'll just round that up to five meaning that we tried to extrude 100 millimeters of filament and we only got 95 we're under extruding by about five percent so here's where the math comes in Alright, now in order to complete the equation to figure out what we need to adjust to, we need to go in here and uh, in Pronterface, we're going to send a command to the printer 
and it is going to be the M503 command. Now you'll see if you look in here. Um, echo steps per unit. This last number here, where it says E93, <clears throat> that is your current E steps. Okay. So in order to uh, get the number we want, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number of millimeters that we wanted, which is 100, and divide that by the number of millimeters we actually extruded, which in our case was 95. Uh, then you're going to take that number times whatever you got back for your E-step. So in this case, it's going to be 93. I'm lazy, so I got out my calculator here. We were going for 100 millimeters. That's what we set it to extrude. Um, and we're going to divide that by 95, which is what actually came out. Um, the answer to that is 1.05. Now we're going to take this number and multiply it by what we got for our E-steps here, which is 93. That's going to give us 97.8947 in my case. Now we're only going to use the first four numbers of this, and I'm going to round that up, or excuse me, the first three numbers after the decimal, and I'm going to round the fourth one up. So um, our total is going to be 97.895. That's what we want to use for, for according to my calculation. You're going to use whatever number you got according to your calculation. Now we need to go back to Pronerface and we're going to have to enter a couple more commands to change it. What we need to do is type M92 Alright, so we need to type M92 Okay, this is going to set our E steps. We're going to set the E value and we're going to type in that number and in our case it was 97.895 we're going to hit send and then we're going to type M if it'll let me M500 it should say settings stored down here you can see this um, that means it's been updated and in fact if we do M503 one more time we can find that same number and it has changed to 97. So we are good to go on that end. And we could run the test again and see where we end up. Um, I'm fairly certain that this is right where I want to be because that's the same number I had before I changed it back to do this video. So um, that's it for this one, guys. Stay tuned and we will calibrate the flow rate as well. And as always guys, I am Technivorous, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, you can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner, one of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload, and the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you, so feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below, and we'll see you guys next time.